Hello everyone, it's Linda Hayes and today I want to do a video on shipping to Belize based on a request from a viewer. So if you have any other topics that you would find useful, please reach out through the comments as that's how I uh, decided to do this video. And why I wanted to cover this a little bit was because some people are surprised at how easy it is to ship items into Belize, which we often want to do because there are no big box stores. We have no, you know, Walmarts, no Costco's, nothing like that. So what you can instead do is choose to order from Amazon or any other vendor that you like to shop at and ship to Houston to then get the items consolidated. And I even actually get some of my mail sent in. So I have a credit card with Chase Bank. And when I got my debit card sent, I actually got it shipped to Houston. And then it came to me in Belize, which is very, very useful. So now I want to talk a little bit about some of the other options for shipping. Uh, when I first came to Belize, I was referred to hide shipping but their price that they gave wasn't all inclusive and the product only got to Belize City and then needed a custom broker. So this is one of the things they don't really tell you. They give you a shipping price based on the size, but then you still have to pay your duty and customs charges. And in my case, I was lucky because my builder was doing some work anyway on cabinets in Belize City. So they ship my cooktops along with those uh, to the island. Uh, but Belizean Queen actually has prices that include shipping and duty. And you can pay those costs on your credit card and they will message you through WhatsApp, which is what we use typically in Belize. And then if you're in San Pedro, you can basically ask Belizean Queen to ship the goods from Belize City on the water taxi or through Tropic Air. I usually do the water taxi just because I feel like it's uh, easier to fit larger items when I order things like mattresses and those kind of things. And if I order one small box, a uh, typical order I would do is some stuff from Amazon, some of the grocery items I like, some of the stuff for my tiny homes. It's usually around $10 Belize in addition to the Belizean Queen charges. So that's on the water taxi. And I did have a friend that did Tropic Air and it wasn't all that much more money either for small boxes. Now the really great thing if you're on the mainland in Placencia or any other area they actually deliver right to your home so in San Pedro I go to the water taxi to pick up my boxes and bring them home so let's talk a little bit about the charges using Belizean Queen so their website shows that they start around $30 US for a box that's about 14 inches cubed and goes up from there and if you're buying electronics you have to let them know because there might be extra duties there and they do consolidate your smaller items and they can pack things really well in a box. So I get one box and I open it up and there's way more than you think could be in that one box. And then the other thing to note is for larger items, you can ask them for a price. So the most expensive thing I had shipped in at one point was a mattress. I looked in Belize City at Mirabs and the cheapest one I could find was over $1,000 US for the mattress. Instead, I ended up buying one uh, on Amazon for about 300 and some US and then I paid about an extra $500 US to ship it. So it was still a more affordable price and the quality of the one I bought I knew was uh, fairly good. So that's kind of gives you some ideas of what the prices are like. So now let's look at an example of timing because obviously you're not going to get stuff in the next day like you can in the US. So if you had stuff in on August 22nd for the shipment, which means it has to be in the Friday before, if you're on the mainland in Hopkins, it would come in September 1st, Placencia September 2nd, and into San Pedro on September 5th and 6th. And these are only estimates, of course, uh, based on those time frames, but you can kind of see it within a couple of weeks, you should be able to get your orders. So one of the other really cool things is that Belizean Queen actually has an app which allows package tracking. So you can see pictures of all the items that have come in, and then once they've shipped a little bit afterwards, your invoice will be online as well so you can see what you're going to pay. And if you scan those QR codes there, you'll be able to see how you can get the app. So how can you get started with Belizean Queen? While you would contact Shelly, you could download the app. I have the phone number and their hours here on the slide in case you want to do this. So as always, please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I hope to see you soon in Belize.